goes down to the story of the Lion King. Now, let me tell you, you remember, you remember Simba, right? Don't front me, because you know you done seen that movie, The Lion King. I know you're a graduate and you all studious today, but you know you done seen that movie, The Lion King. Now, give it up for The Lion King. Now, you remember Simba, right? Simba was talking all that junk, talking all that stuff, all that hype, all that fluff, and Simba said, oh, I just can't wait to be... Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, you know that movie, The Lion King. And then what happened was Simba started growing up, and then when Simba, when, when adversity hit Pride Rock, Simba, he left, right? Simba left, and he started hanging out with Timon and... Yeah, don't front me. Timon and Pumbaa, right? And so he was talking about Akuna. Yeah, Akuna Matata. And you know what? Here we got Simba as a little cub saying, I just can't wait to be king. When adversity hit Pride Rock, Simba said, you know what? Dubs, I'm out. I can't take this. I can't do this. I would rather go where it's more comfortable. Farrah Gray said this, comfortability is the enemy of success. Never get comfortable. Never get comfortable. Comfortability is the enemy of success. So he met Timon and Timon and Pumbaa, and they started singing Akuna. No, no worries. Everything's good. Everything's good. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You can outrun mom and dad sometimes. You can outrun college. You can outrun your responsibilities, but you will never, ever, ever be able to outrun your purpose. You can never outrun it. Because when Adversity was starting to take Pride Rock down. Nala came and, and saw Simba, and she said, you got to get back to Pride. And his calling took him back to Pride. Somebody say, answer the call. And stop checking the caller ID. I got you, Ms. Dickinson. Ms. Dickinson. I see the street light coming on, so I'm going to wrap this up like a burrito. <laughs> Here we go. So Simba left Pride Rock because adversity hit. He had a vision when he was little. He knew he was VIP. He knew he was the cream of the crop. He knew he was the top of the food chain. He knew nobody else could do what he was doing better than he could do when he was doing what he was doing it because he knew he was the king. It was just a matter of... Oh, that's all it was, a matter of time. He had to invest in his time. He had to know where he was, where he wanted to be, and where he was going to be, not only as a cub, but also as a lion. But then when he hit, when he hit the desert, Timon and Pumbaa picked him up, and they said, hey, kid, where are you going? And you know what he said? Nowhere. Oh, my goodness. See, if you don't know where you're going... Somebody else going to tell you where you're going. So you know you know exactly where you're going because you might end up someplace else. So Timon and Pumbaa, so even though Lion King Simba was at the top of the food chain, he spent his whole matriculation growing up with Timon and Pumbaa, and then you see him and he's a grown lion now. But watch this, even though he's a lion on the outside, he's still a cub on the inside. See, you got to be careful with who the people are around you because, see, if you cannot, repeat after me, if I cannot change the people around me, then I need to change the people around me. I know y'all going to get that. I know y'all going to get that. I know y'all going to get that. Y'all graduates, y'all studious, studious. If you didn't get it, you'll get it when you get home. So that's the moral of the story. That's the moral of the story, is you know who you are. You have a vision for yourself. You invest in yourself, and you know your purpose. So I dedicate this last poem to you. I dedicate this to the greatness in you. I dedicate this to the entrepreneur in you. I dedicate this to the producer in you. I dedicate this to the business owner in you. I dedicate this to the dad in you. I dedicate this to the mom in you. I dedicate this to the executive in you. I dedicate this to the greatness in you. And it simply says this, if you want something bad enough to go out and sweat for it, work day and night for it, give up all of the things that try to come at you for it. If you give all of that up to invest in yourself and you know who you are, 
then greatness will always follow. Benjamin Franklin said this. He said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dulled by having the state to look after me. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of a utopia. I would never cower before any master nor bend to any threat. It is my heritage to stand erect, proud, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. Class of 2009, my name is Mr. Pace. Wherever you go, I want you to know that I believe in you. I am proud of you. I love you, and this is your finest hour. Give yourself a round of applause.